the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing arguments on whether the University of Michigan's admission policies are unconstitutional. That's right. 7 Action News anchor Glenda Lewis is here now with more on that case stemming from the state's debate over affirmative action. Glenda? Well, thank you, Jeff, Joanne. And here's the situation. It breaks down like this. Justices are being asked to decide the constitutionality of a Michigan voter referendum that bans race and sex-based discrimination or preferential treatment in admission decisions. It all started with a woman named Jennifer. She's a white woman. You can see her there. She was a student put on the waiting list for undergraduate admission at the University of Michigan. And at the time, her attorneys argued that the university's affirmative action policy violated her right to a seat in the classroom. As a result, Michigan voters approved an amendment to the state constitution that was in 06. And that outlaws the use of race or gender conscious policies in university admission decisions. It's that amendment that's being challenged by critics who say it on encompasses discrimination of minority students. State Attorney General Bill Schuette argues the amendment discriminates against discrimination and is confident the Supreme Court will agree. Opponents to the ban say the amendment has set back diversity efforts at places like the U of M, where less than 5% of undergraduates are African American. Of course, we'll let you know what the justices decide on air, online, WXYZ.com.